Aloha, welcome and thank you for joining my live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher and it is my greatest honor to be with you here today on today's live stream. I am a student and worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha and it is a great honor to state this. Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha is the one that has uh, trained me to be able to offer what will be occurring today which is soul readings. Today I will be specifically focusing on soul readings for blockages in the spiritual journey. So if you ask questions that are not related to that, then I apologize, but I won't be answering those. Uh, we have to keep the focus, so to speak. But I'm very grateful for Dr. Master Shah, who has given me a great deal of um, empowerment to be able to serve the greater community in this way. This last two weeks, if you are a veteran, you know we have been going over how to open your spiritual channels. <clears throat> what are the five major energy centers and their association to the spiritual channels? And uh, so if you are new and you're watching this for the first time, my encouragement to you is to go back to the videos from before uh, that are on my Facebook page. You can scroll down through them. Or another way to accomplish that is to um, when you're on my Facebook page, underneath the major uh, image, just scroll to the About, click on About, and then scroll down until you see videos. Um, now, when you get to videos, it might be another button there that says More Videos. Make sure you click that if you can't find the one you're looking for. <clears throat> so, as we're starting to gather more people to come on uh, to uh, enjoy this together, um, I'm going to go ahead and offer a little teaching on what is a soul reading. And then we're going to invite in all the holy beings and we're going to connect and start the soul readings. <clears throat> so soul reading is a message from the soul world. And how it works is that everyone and everything has a soul. And so it's not just humans. Everything has a soul. Everything has a spark of divine in it. And so when we uh, take the time to open our spiritual body, when we learn to tune the ear, the, uh, the internal ear, to heaven and to those soul's messages, then we can hear very clearly. And that's the purpose and intention of these last two weeks, to teach you how to reveal uh, your, your own soul language, how to reveal your, uh, your own channels, your third eye, your third eye channel, all these different forms of communication that um, comes to us. So we all have our own <clears throat> blockages, if you will, in our energy body. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about opening your spiritual channels, please go back and watch my previous videos. And I also encourage you to join the Honolulu webcast from Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. Um, and that's going to be happening the uh, 29th and 30th, the full weekend, and 28th in the evening. Uh, uh, there will be a free event. So that gives you a little idea of what a soul reading is. Um, when I do a soul reading, I'm not gathering information like a psychic. I'm not foreseeing stuff in the future. I actually receive messages from the soul world. So it may be your heaven's team. It may be your soul that offers the message. Sometimes it's uh, Yen Muan Ye, which is the leader of the Akashic Records. Um, the soul that speaks can be any one of those, or it could be the divine. Uh, it's, it's possible that that uh, the divine has a message for you. So we'll know as I go into it. <clears throat> so before we uh, set the energy field and invite in all the holy beings, I invite you to please share, to hit the share button and allow others to know that this event is happening uh, so that they can be aware of uh, what household reading can help them. The purpose of me offering these consistent live streams is so that you can become educated and empowered. So that you can do these things by yourself basically. You can heal yourself. You can uh, ask heaven questions and receive answers. Uh, all of this is available through the teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. So I encourage you to learn more about this uh, benevolent being who has come to the planet to awaken our souls and our soul's journey. <clears throat> if you desire individual healing individual soul guidance etc that is something that I can offer through uh, through my website you can go to asoulhealer.com and I'm happy to connect with you on an individual basis so let us first um, connect heart to heart soul to soul placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position which is the two palms together uh, we drop the left hand in front of the message center we place our right hand pointed to heaven 
and close our eyes. We'll invite in the holy beings. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, all beings of the light side, to the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, all masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, to the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, to our own soul, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you. <clears throat> we ask for your presence here today. We ask for you to please, as appropriate, come to sit with each of us, sit in our message centers. Bless us each to align our soul, heart, mind, and body, not only to each other, but to the divine, that we can be in alignment with our soul and its intention in this life. We ask for your presence, blessings, and guidance today that when I uh, do soul readings for all of these individuals <clears throat> for their spiritual journey, that I receive the highest, best, and clearest wisdom that is possible. We're very grateful. They're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask that you please turn on in all souls and all universes and as we chant love peace and harmony we ask that you please uh, offer a blessing to all souls and please offer a blessing to clear our spiritual blockages as appropriate we're very grateful so for those that are new close your eyes receive the blessing of this soul song for those that uh, know it please close your eyes and chant along with me Lula, lula, li. 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 Lula. Wo ai wo shin her ling, wo ai tren ren le, wang li hing rong her mu shi shang, shong ai ping an her shi, shang ai ping an her shi. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So welcome Felix Loveness, welcome Cynthia Marie, welcome Eleanor and Stephanie, welcome Elizabeth Folk, welcome Jama, welcome Margaret and Eileen, welcome Yvonne, uh, Amy, welcome Angie Taylor, welcome Yvonne, welcome Carolyn Cannon, welcome Elizabeth Folk, uh, welcome Michelle and Kristen Strachan, Shari, welcome Anne and Linda Jansen, welcome um, Kristen Rojas and Tawana, welcome Rodney and Ari. And if I haven't seen your name, that means you get double blessings. Okay, so uh, the request to remind all of you, this is a soul reading for your spiritual journey and the major blockage in it, all right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna scroll through here to the requests. Okay, so Carolyn is the first to request that I see. Um, Master Pa, I'd like your reading for our spiritual blockages. So everybody, please close your eyes. Uh, even though the reading might not be for you, it does help with my clarity and you'll receive uh, additional essence. As there's always essence for each of us in the individual readings. <clears throat> to the soul of Carolyn Cannon, uh, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. Uh, Carolyn's Heavens teams, love you, honor you, bow to you as appropriate. Uh, please be present, please offer. Carolyn, whatever guidance is necessary regarding the spiritual blockages in her soul journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For our dear Carolyn, and this is your Heavens team, Carolyn. For our dear Carolyn, she is actually spiritually aware. The biggest blockage for her is her fear of being found out, so to speak. She speaks about her spiritual awareness uh, with those who know her, 
and she trusts to release the information to. But she does not openly share her deeper awarenesses and wisdoms. We wish for you, dear one, to open your heart more, to communicate with those around you that you know you can serve, and by just talking to them at first, and then ask them permission, such as, I have some insights that might assist you. I have a healing ability that might serve you. Are you interested? In this way, you connect first and then open your heart second to serve them. If they are ready, they will tell you. If they are not ready, you do not worry about being found out. For you, it is important to spread what you know, as you are a light worker and you have a good heart. Do more towards this end and you will find great blossoming <clears throat> not only in people that you never would have guessed would be open to it, but also in trusting yourself and your abilities. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Yvonne is watching. Let's see, we keep going. Okay. Uh, Eileen Smiley has asked for a soul reading for this condition. <clears throat> to the soul of Eileen Smiley, Eileen's Heavens Teams, Guides Angels Saints, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. Could you please provide uh, whatever insights for Eileen regarding her major spiritual blockages? How? Sounds in the How? This is Eileen's soul. My beloved Eileen, you are a bit chaotic in your mind. For you, it is a lack of groundedness that keeps you more from being in your heart and out of your mind. It is important that you learn and practice foundational energy boosting. This is substantially different than meditation. This is literally a boosting of your energy centers in the lower part of your body. This will assist you in every aspect of your life and you will find the sometimes flightiness that occurs and the busyness of the mind that is often occurring uh, will be diminished greatly. You will also find greater insights from me, your soul, and from your heavens team. We are consistently doing our best to get your attention and communicate with you, but because of the aforementioned conditions, it is most difficult. We are here to assist you in the best ways possible. How? And so, um, uh, Eileen, there's a, <clears throat> if you go back to my videos that I mentioned how to find them before, there are videos on the lower foundational energy centers. Again, you can learn these teachings through many of Master Shah's books. Soul Mind Body Medicine talks about the foundational energy centers. Uh, Dao Song Dao Dance, spelled T-A-O, talks about the foundational energy centers. A lot of ways you can learn this. You can attend some of the webcasts that are taught around the world through Master Shah's uh, top teachers and his, his centers around the world. But they teach you these foundational practices, so that should assist you. <coughs> Um, Jama Lin. To the soul of Jama Lin, Jama's Heavens Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Do you please offer uh, guidance for Jama at this time for the major blockage in her soul journey? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. This is. Yama, Yama's Heaven's Team. For our beloved Yama, it is the heart and heart center that is the most important blockage area. There has been a mixed bag of a very wide open heart and a very hurt heart. This is because of the insecurities that lace through your life as to who you are and your purpose here, and your desire to fulfill 
your heart with love through what you know to be available to you. Our encouragement to you as your Heaven's team is to fulfill your heart with the Divine's love and to look for all the different ways you can further validate your worth, self-worth, self-value and self-love. In the doing so you will <clears throat> not be in such a painful place if there are opportunities in the future for love or greater love you will open up your heart more because there will be no fear of being hurt and you will be in a much better position on your self-worth value and strength this is our message to you at this time how okay so hopefully that served you Elizabeth would love to be able to receive a soul reading for her blockage blockages you're the soul of Elizabeth uh, folk Elizabeth folk hall <clears throat> Elizabeth's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deeply appreciate you. Bow down to you as appropriate. Please offer guidance as appropriate for Elizabeth. Um, so actually, Yen Wan Ye wants to talk right now, Elizabeth. <coughs> How? This is Yen Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. I have asked to speak to our beloved Elizabeth because this life is very important for her soul journey. She has not moved far enough along the path as she had intended. For you Elizabeth, you must take this spiritual journey seriously. You must have in you must develop a unshakable heart you must practice daily you must serve more become a better healer the rest the remainder of this life for you should be cleanly and clearly dedicated to these suggestions because that is what your soul wants and that is what is missing I have come because you are in my lineage we are ancestors so to speak and I am one of those who serve your soul journey when needed this is Yan Wan Ye how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and Stephanie says, Master Paul, I'd love a soul reading for her spiritual blockages. To the soul of Stephanie Cannon, Stephanie's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. Love you, honor, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Please offer guidance for Stephanie regarding her spiritual blockages at this time. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. This is Stephanie's Heaven's Team. For our beloved Stephanie, we are most grateful. She does a very good job, actually, trying to stay on top of her responsibilities, her choices in life. She does her best, if you will, to tread above water. For our beloved Stephanie, it is about trust, but it is about trust in self. You love divine. You trust us. You trust heaven. But you don't trust yourself. That is the key. You disempower yourself by not trusting yourself enough. You have skills that you don't believe are good enough to generate solutions in your life. If you doubt what those are, ask us to remind you and we will bring forth more than one example of how you can change the way you bring yourself to life and in turn how that will change 
your conditions. Your spiritual life is being stymied by your physical life and your inability to trust yourself. We are behind you to assist you to move forward in all aspects. Please ask us through your meditation and prayer to bring you to the skill sets you are best at that can serve you in the physical realm and accordingly the rest of the blockages on the spiritual realm will start to be removed. This is your Heavens team. How? Okay, loveness, uh, dear uh, Da'ai Master Pa, I'd love uh, to know the source of my blockages as appropriate. Dear the soul of loveness, Vesa, loveness, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bow to you as appropriate. Please be present. Please offer as appropriate guidance for loveness regarding the major spiritual blockages in her life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is one of the souls on your heavens team, Loveness, but he's a very, um, he's almost like, um, remember when you went to, you know, to church and you have that, that one strong pastor that's very strong and kind of looks down at you and dunk, dunk, dunk. It's like got that kind of an energy. So I'll speak on his behalf. <clears throat> Loveness. Look at your life. You have come from the most severe conditions and yet you would dance every day. You brought yourself to America, pulled up your big girl pants, and played life. And so karma hits you over the head and you forget your power. You forget your motion and motivation and tenacity because you got slapped around a bit. Because of that, you have found yourself vacillating in life, not sure where to place your feet, not sure how to move forward, not sure on any level. Go back to your roots of strength. You will need it. It is your roots of strength, your unwillingness to let anything get in the way of your success that has never left you. It has simply been battered a bit. It does not mean you have to do the same things to be successful, no. It is about the strength of the energy. From here, you can make foundational life choices. I will do this to solve this crisis. I will do this to solve this. Once these two things are in place, I will do this. And you just buckle down and you pull in the same power that you have. Know that we, your Heaven's team, are behind you. Your blockage, dear loveness, is your loss of self-confidence. Find it. We will be there for you. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Aloha and welcome to Felix and Kayleen. Welcome Nicole Sanders. Welcome Yama. You're welcome. <clears throat> Narma, hello Master Paul, happy to join your practice. Would love to receive a message for the blockages on her spiritual journey. <clears throat> You're the soul of Narma, Narma's Heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Please guide Narma on her soul journey. What is the major blockage? Thank you. 
For our beloved Nirma, you chose a difficult life from the soul level before coming in. You chose to come in the upbringing you did. It has been tough but very doable. But along the way, you have given too much of self for approvals, for validation, for acceptance, for fitting in. Your major spiritual blockage is a lack of self-worth and value to self and to how you can be in a master position as well not necessarily with as a master in master shah's organization but in a teacher role in a role in which you are educating and serving at a much higher level This blockage stems from lifetimes of being subordinate. And you chose this path in this lifetime so that you could break that pattern. Our message to you as your Heaven's team is to step into this responsibility role to be a much bigger and better servant than you are and to trust your abilities. We will be behind you the whole way. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Kristen Strachan, if, if possible, is there a suggestion from heaven? It is the best possible, most appropriate name for soul healing service. Let's work with that after this, okay, Kristen? I'm happy to assist after this. Um, I would like to receive as well a reading, Master Paul. Okay, Felix. Felix. To the soul of Felix, Felix Heaven's team. Uh, love you and respect you. Bow to you as appropriate. Please offer guidance for Felix for his spiritual journey. Thank you. My beloved Felix, this is Mother Mary. I am your spiritual mother. I have been there for you when you are in your room at night by yourself, tears in your eyes and great pain in your heart. The reason there is great pain in your heart is because your heart is very open. The reason there is great pain is because others judge you, criticize you, and do not understand your great open heart. I do, and there are many that also appreciate it. You have allowed yourself to be a vessel that gets boxed around a bit because you fear losing love of others. Please be careful where this line is drawn because others that are in your family have love for you to the level and degree that their heart is open. And 
there cannot be more love than that if it is not there. You will not lose love from them, nor will you gain love from them until they become more aware and open. The loss of love is not possible. The gaining of love is only possible as they awaken more. Your major spiritual blockage is in the accepting and expecting of the fulfillment of your love from outside of you. It is important for you, my beloved Felix, to fulfill your love from inside of you because you have and you are and have always been perfect and unconditionally loved by your soul, by me, by all those in the soul world, by the divine. It is only those on the physical plane that you are looking for love from to fulfill your empty heart. Stop and start fulfilling it from sources that do not drain you. This is Mother Mary. I love you. How, how, how? Thank you, Mother Mary, for borrowing my mouth. Love you, love you, love you. <coughs> okay. Uh, Tawana Tillman. <coughs> to the soul of Tawana, Tawana's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, Ani. Appreciate you. Respect you. Bow to you as appropriate. Could you please offer guidance for Tawana for uh, any blockages for her on her spiritual journey? <coughs> for our beloved Tawana, this is your Heavens Team Tawana, it is important for you to follow a teacher. You must follow your heart in finding a teacher. Does not have to be this one, does not have to be Master Shah. There are many very good spiritual fathers and teachers. The key for you is guidance. The reason for you this is so important is because if you depend on your own guidance at this time in your soul journey, there is a bit too much blockage in the form of emotions and mental perspectives. Uh, also the need for validation outside of you and approval of whatever direction you might take. This puts you in a rowboat that's on a waterway that moves you about all over the river without a straight direction. So find a good teacher and start on a path of clarity and with this your soul will then be able to row the boat the direction it desires this is your heavens team ha 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so i hope all of this is serving all of you i haven't had a time to check in with you i'm just kind of staying in the uh, in the condition here uh, tina he dear master paul may i receive spiritual guidance about your sp spiritual blockages <coughs> Hey, uh, hey, you're the soul of Tina He, Tina's heavens, teens, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Can you please come at this time to uh, offer guidance for Tina He on the major blockages in her spiritual journey? Thank you. Hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh. How? This is Tina's Heaven's Team. The major blockage for Tina is her message center. She knows this. As she has experienced unpleasant relationships that have left her harmed. But she also knows what true love is and has great love for family. For you, our beloved Tina, 
it would be of value for you to recognize deeper, more clearly that the place that you have filed these relationships that hurt is not serving you. They are causing you to be in a place of status quo, almost a a place where you're not hurt anymore, but you can be open and show that face, that happy face to everybody else. But for you to level up, to move forward on your soul journey, you must truly, truly release those that have brought harm to you. This is your Heaven's team. Ha, 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 thank you. <coughs> Nicole Sanders. Did the soul of Nicole and Nicole's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints love you, honor, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate? Could you please offer guidance for Nicole, whatever is most needed, specific to her soul journey? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. How? This is Archangel Raphael. My beloved Nicole, it is a great honor to reconnect with you. You are a being that has graced the angelic realm, which is why I am one of those that serve you on your heavens team. You carry with you higher level understandings of the nature of divine of the nature of nature and the deities of nature. You carry with you a purity. And a lot of this is known and a lot of it has been lost. For you to realign to the highest aspects of your highest growth, Reconnect with us substantially more, the angelic realm. Talk to us daily. Communicate with us as if we were right in front of you daily. Ask us to bless you. Ask us for guidance. Ask us to bless others. Read more about me and us. You too need some guidance in opening your spiritual channels. Please pay attention to those opportunities of learning more from masters that teach those kinds of things. The purity of the teachings of the one called Master Shah is of the highest that have come to humanity. So should you choose to look into those, it will serve you greatly. Be sure to be more careful about the kinds of relationships you allow yourself to enter as many of them are built upon attractions that are not depthful enough for your soul journey. You are deeply loved. This is Archangel Raphael. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you Archangel Raphael for coming. That's actually the first time I got to speak um, anything from Archangel Raphael. So thank you for that opportunity. <coughs> um, Pat says, greatest love and appreciation, Master Paul, for your generosity. You're very welcome, Pat. Thank you. Um, Rosi says, aloha from Germany. My name is Sushina. Welcome, Rosi. Uh, Felix, I would like guidance. We've covered that, Felix. Uh, Maria has joined. Jessica has joined. Robert has joined. Sarah has joined. Uh, Maria. Greetings from Belgium. Yes, she's over there with all the masters right now. Jessica Smiley has asked for a reading. 
Dear the soul of Jessica, Jessica's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Could you please offer guidance for Jessica for her soul journey, the major spiritual blockage? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is Jessica's soul. My beloved Jessica. I have worked with you consciously and unconsciously this whole life. And when we are in communication, you know it because things are going well in your life. And when we are disconnected, you are unaware entirely of my presence and our oneness. You have a deep need for validation. Sometimes you show it in a protective nature, almost like I don't need you. And sometimes you give fully and entirely of your entire self, often to your detriment. It is important, dear, that you and I, your soul, become more aligned. I wish for you to meditate more, to communicate with me and listen. It can be as simple as every morning upon waking, connecting with heaven, offering gratitude, and then asking me, your soul, for guidance. By doing this every day, every day, every day, you will start to hear more clearly. Also, I give you guidance intuitionally, but you often make a mind-based decision or make a attachment-based decision. I will tell you, don't do that. And you'll be like, uh, it's only once. Uh, you know, I'll deal with it later. That's what I want to do. And your attachments are not serving our soul journey. For you, your major blockage is your separation from me, your soul. Please take time to reconnect us much more, and then I will lead you to the step-by-step -step of our soul journey so that I can accomplish my tasks and you can have the least pain and suffering in your life. I love you. This is your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome Christina Darling and family, Chrissy Coto. Uh, welcome Chrissy, welcome Crystal Valencia, um, Sarah MacArthur uh, has asked for a reading for her soul journey. Dear the soul of Sarah, Sarah's heavens teams, guides, angels and saints, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to please be present at this time. Offer Sarah whatever guidance is most appropriate for her soul journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's a there's a general that has stepped forth, like a it's like a heavens general. Is that what he has to say? My dear Sarah, you have been my daughter in multiple lifetimes. I am currently serving in heaven's army. There is a necessity for you to do what you can to clear your and some of our ancestral spiritual debts. These debts create many 
unpleasant conditions for human beings. As each human being, spiritual debt shows up in the form of relationship problems, health issues, accidents, and more. As a Heaven's General, I have served Heaven when called upon. My service is to go to individuals' souls and remove the karmic blockages that they created. I came to you because it is important that you spend a lot more effort in forgiveness, in service, and in utilizing special divine services to assist you with clearing blockages. I recommend for you crown chakra blessings, more than one, several within the next six months. If you pay attention to this message, you could avoid things that could be unpleasant in your future. I deeply love you as your father in several lifetimes and as someone very close to you. This is a Heaven's General Soldier and relative. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so thank you to that um, soul. Uh, again, another first. Never had a Heaven's General come and talk. <clears throat> okay, so uh, if your name was listed after this soul reading I just did um, and you're requesting a reading, please put it back in the queue because it has moved forward so fast I can't go backwards now. It will, will not let me scroll back and I don't want to to go past someone that um, that has is in the right queue. So please put in again. Yes, I was in the queue. Yes, please, you know, uh, if you if you were next. Um, <clears throat> Loveness says, thank you so much, Master Paul. I heard parts of the reading and then Playa. I'm doing my best to remember. <coughs> to the soul of Ali, Ali's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels and Saints. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. Can you please offer a soul reading for Ali? for the major blockage in Ali's spiritual journey. Thank you. For our beloved Ali, Your major blockage would be given the label of ego. We say given the label because it is not a correct representation. It shows up with you in the form of beyond confidence. a know-it-all kind of a confidence in specific areas of your life. Why is this a major spiritual blockage? Because when we have that kind of projection in life, we completely cut off the messages and guidance from the soul world. And the soul world is always in communication with all humanity in every moment. Ego is something that all humanity has on various levels. For you, choose to catch yourself in those times 
to say, maybe I don't know. It would be of value for me to become a more educated, more humble, and learn more. To, if I am very good in this skill set, then I will be very humble and apply the sharing with humility. In this way, you will move heaven's heart and your spiritual journey will open up more. This is your heaven's team. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I remember Playa. After that, the screen was rolling too fast. So I, again, I apologize if I passed you up. <clears throat> to the soul of Playa. Playa is heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, honor you, respect you, bow to you as appropriate. Please offer guidance for Playa. For the major blockage and Playa's soul journey. How? For Playa. The major blockage here is being too serious. There is not enough joy. There is not enough gratitude and appreciation for the incredible all life. There is too much mind and insufficient heart in that the heart sees the joy that God brings to all things. Pay more attention to this message. Release the need for analysis and a, a categorizing, positioning, um, understanding via your specific processes. Move to the dweller on the threshold the one that sits outside looking in, saying, hmm, that's interesting. Before I would have thought of it like this, but now I'm a bit amused by the bigger picture. From this perspective, you will find your soul journey reveal so much more to you. This is your Heaven's Team. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, Nicole, uh, I see you here, but we just did a reading for you. Um, welcome, Monica. Uh, Janet, again, I apologize if I've passed up anybody. Uh, this kind of moved through a little fast here. Janet Bliss. <coughs> to the soul of Janet, Janet's Heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, and appreciate you, respect you. Please offer Janet whatever guidance is appropriate for her soul journey. Major spiritual blockage. Thank you. This is Janet's soul. My beloved Janet, I love you. I am very grateful that you are here today and that I could speak through this one. Actually, you are doing pretty well staying aligned to our journey. You have made some mistakes, but you know what they are. You have done a lot of inner work, and that has served us well. Your major blockage area is in a lack of forgiveness with a very few specific people. You know who I mean. So please consider that the nature of the karmic circle is that those who have harmed us are likely those we have harmed. And the suffering that we have received as the victim could have been the suffering they received as the victim of us. And in this awareness, you can move from someone who was hurt and unable to release to someone who is aware and asks 
for forgiveness, for having brought harm to any souls in that same way first. You will find that by this consistency of asking for forgiveness, you will much more easily be able to offer forgiveness for their actions because you will have a much deeper awareness. From there, you and I can move forward on our soul journey. This is your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. And unfortunately, that has to be my last one uh, because it's almost three o'clock here. I started at two and Facebook cuts me off on the hour. So <clears throat> for all those that came in late, I will be doing this tomorrow. I will try to serve, serve those first that did not receive a reading. Uh, when you come in, you can ask for a reading uh, for your spiritual journey because that's what I'll be remain focused on. And I will do them in order of request, okay? So I apologize if I have passed you up. I apologize if you were in order and um, then you got skipped forward and I gave a reading to somebody else. Uh, I don't have control over scrolling back when we reach a certain volume of people watching, okay? So again, I encourage uh, you to come tomorrow. I will be offering readings again. If you have a desire for individual personal readings, you can receive those from me. Uh, my honor fees are very reasonable. They're listed on my website, asoulhealer.com. A, a soul healer com. Very simple. Okay. You can also sign up for my newsletter. I want to mention something. I'll be releasing my first newsletter very soon here. And I will be offering uh, some very, very special uh, fees for services on there and a very special program for healing. Very reduced. Anyone that wants to, uh, to pay $30 a month, I'm going to offer two 30-minute dedicated healings to all those people. And <laughs> If you know the kind of healing that I work with, you'll know that that is basically free. Um, the reason I'm doing it for such a low honor fee of only $30 for two 30-minute healings a month is because I'm hoping to have enough volume to justify the virtue that is released to serve your, uh, your requests. Each time you come, uh, you can make a request. And you don't have to be on the telephone call to receive the blessings. For those that sign up, I call their soul uh, and you... and um, um, heaven knows. Heaven knows exactly what your soul wants. <clears throat> um, you just make a request. So if you're not on the call, you say, Dear Heaven, Master Paul will be offering this blessing, you know, on Thursday, whatever time it is. I don't know what day or time is going to be yet. Um, uh, I am requesting blessings for this. So when I call your soul, I simply say, for whatever this soul needs most or whatever they requested, you get the blessing regardless. Okay? If you come, of course, you'll, you'll physically know the difference. Um, so I encourage all of you to learn more about soul healing and soul reading, how it can serve you. I encourage each of you to learn about Dr. and Master Shah, who is my spiritual teacher and father and has given me these abilities. Without him, I literally am useless, have no value to any of you. He has taught me everything that I know and his encouragement is for everybody to learn the same things that I have learned. He wants people to learn how to communicate with heaven. He wants people to open their spiritual channels. He wants people to heal themselves. And he teaches you the ABCs. I'm happy to serve you any way I can. You can contact me through my website, email asoulhealer at yahoo.com, Facebook message, many different ways to connect with me. I look forward to serving you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow.